our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, that's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we wanna help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? 
We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business, and we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so... We'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackDown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackDown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies, The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live women's champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is Smack Down Live. Say it with me. Smack Down. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it going to be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 
That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home field advantage is on the line later tonight on SmackDown Live. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Delhi, India, Cutie Pie. Byron, are you at all surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now? Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. Byron, what do you think about the shape these women appear to be in right now? They've clearly been prepping for this one. Oh, without a doubt, Michael. I don't know specifically what they're doing inside the gym, but it's definitely working. to look at those dance moves. Big E does have an unconventional approach to an in-ring celebration, but the crowd is loving it. It's because it's so hypnotizing. Get it? Hips? You can't look away from those hips. I would rather be anywhere than here right now. I think I'm... Yep, I just threw up a little. The man is in the building. Look at the look on the face of the Irish last kicker. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. I tell you, the WWE Universe always in full force behind Becky Lynch. She has got the fire in her heart and her blood is always boiling.
became the first women's double champion when she beat Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. Welcome to Balor Club. And from Bray County Wicklow, Ireland, Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! A bona fide superstar the world over, Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger, and more dangerous every single week in WWE. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has the it factor, look no further than Finn Balor. SmackDown Live's new GM has put Ray in a situation like we've never seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field advantage for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Savages with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM, so I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. They've been rivals with Brooklyn since they were teenagers. Brooklyn Von Braun is an accomplished professional. I'd be very surprised if she let an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Inverted suplex. Producing a trampling. Lost in the corner right now. Suplex. Ooh. Very nice. All the reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh my God, a DDT! Comes in off the tag. Something to keep in mind when squaring up with Becky Lynch is the last kicker can just as easily lock you in a submission as she can realign your spine with a suplex. That's obvious. Becky Lynch's repertoire is impressive. What concerns me the most, Cole, are her vicious strikes to an opponent. I'd say they'd cross the border of the illegal. Powerbomb planet. Looks like Big E has got the momentum. Watch out. E-Train might be pulling into the station. Book vertical suplex. Bam. And look at front page back suplex. Right to the gut. Scoop slam. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Finn Balor needs.
needs to focus on right now. A striking blow. Way up, way down. What a sit out spine buster. Toss to the outside. Big E trying to get inside his opponent's head. What else is new? Two. Three. Four. Five. Now they're setting up. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, what a chancery. Oh, no. Here we go. Big E sees it. Oh, that could do it. But can they turn? Will this be enough? Take more than that to take down the Irish last kicker, folks. Ironbreaker! Big, big back body drop! What elevation! Things have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. That's over at this point. Lynch making her pay. Oh, a flurry of struck. Kinshasa. Oh, man. This could do it. Heavy duty right hand. Penny in predicament. One, two, three. First mix tags over. What a win. Here are your winners. Kiyuni Pie and Big E. And she picks up the win. Look out, women's locker room. This girl is for real. And, folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.